Hey, what's up everybody? Eric Soulbox out in the shop today. So, I just finished fixing the uh, the run out on this chuck. Um, I had tried grinding jaws on my old Atlas one time on my three jaw chuck and basically did nothing but make it worse. And the reason it made it worse was because I didn't load the jaws properly. And so what I wanted to show today is how I went about loading these jaws and how I fix this. I've got this, you probably can't see it, but I've got this chuck now running to within four thousandths. And I'm here to tell you that this Adjust True uh, Buck chuck, which is a really good chuck, was just absolutely, it was so bell mouthed that you could see daylight um, in between the jaw and the part, which is <laughs> never really good. Um, it made trying to part stuff off just about impossible. It had a shitload of run out in it. And so, Basically, what I did was I took this square stock um, aluminum, like so. I made myself three little pieces, and I ended up putting this through here. There's a flat here and a flat here, and so it slipped down in there. I did three of them and pushed them all the way together, and basically what it did was it made like a little triangle at the center of the chuck. And then I went in there with a boring bar and turned just to where I was just shy of the uh, of the jaws and then stopped there and then came in and uh, went through and uh, and just ground everything down to where it was nice and true and so you can see here um, what I did so these were basically they were pushed in there but the main key to doing it to getting them to load right actually Joe Pye does a video where he talks about how these they tend to at the at the outermost part of the jaw, it, it tends to push out. And so the mistake I had made before was that I had loaded the jaws towards the body or towards the face. What I did with this is I brought them all the way out here when I did it. And uh, when I loaded it, it of course pushed it into the position that um, really stock it, it, it shouldn't have been able to do. But then I went in and, uh, and ground these jaws down based on getting all that pushed out motion um, loaded into the jaws. And now I'm to within four thousand. Before I started this also, because this is an adjust true chuck, you can adjust this chuck on the back plate basically with, um, you can see there's four little set screws that go all the way around it. What I did before I started was I indicated the body to the back which actually put it, made it even worse, but now I'm right in the center of the plate and I'm getting four thousandths in run out. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna pull this completely off of here, take it completely apart, get all of the, uh, the hardened metal out of this, get it completely cleaned, and then I'll come through and I'll adjust these four and I'll probably get that four thousandths to come out of this. So I just wanted to show really quick how I went about loading these jaws. This worked exceedingly well, much better than how I attempted to do it on my Atlas lathe. And I couldn't be more pleased because I did not want to go and spend eight or nine hundred dollars on another three jaw chuck and end up with a three jaw chuck that probably honestly wouldn't be nearly as good as a buck. So um, I'm really stoked that like you can't see any daylight through here anymore. Um, it's exactly what I was hoping would happen. So. Anyhow, Eric Solobox, I hope this helps somebody. Talk to you later.